Welcome back. So, remember back at the first episode I said, I'll let you know when we're getting into virgin territory and I don't really know what's going on? Well, we're beginning to get there. I actually don't know where to go next. I know what I want. I know I want spiral plant clippings to make synthetic fibers. That's the key to making the next depth upgrade for my sea truck. I should make a prawn suit. No big deal, we have the parts for that. I would love to have that module for the sea truck that allows you to drag the prawn suit around everywhere. And since I do have the ability to build a moon pool now, I should probably do that as well. Also, when you get the moon pool data box, it gives you the vehicle upgrade console that goes in the moon pool, so I should probably build one of those. But let's do the easiest thing first, which I think is to build the moon pool. And I think I know where I want the moon pool to go. I think I want it to stick off either that face or maybe that face of that top multi-purpose room. That just seems to have a nice deep fall off that would allow the multi-purpose room to, you know, have plenty of depth below it. Maybe I'll have to build a single tube coming out of there to hook the moon pool to. So Welcome let's pin Captain Lubricant. I'm pretty sure I already made lubricant. That should be in my basic materials. I need two ingots and two lead. Let's get the lead because that's easy. And two ingots is going to take ten titanium. So looks like we've got it. Okay. And then I think a... We will actually see how much of a tube the... how much of a tube the moon pool wants and or needs. Well, that's, that's weird. That's actually exactly where I would want to build it. Why can't I? I mean, it seems to have legs down to the... Huh. That's really bizarre. Okay, well, um, we will build a tube then. What is the deal here? Is it because there's something inside blocking? Let's go inside. So when I go up there, I need to turn around and... Yeah, okay, that's why. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. This is full, isn't it? Fuck me. Um... Seriously tempted to just go outside and just dump these on the seafloor. move this guy over to the side just in case I want to build another one. I really should not need that much storage, but...
And if I have to end up cutting this whole process in editing to save episode time for other things, that's fine. But since the outcome of going to the architect body cache is uncertain and the outcome of finding other things is uncertain, I figure... Okay, now that wall is free. Now, at least theoretically, we ought to be able to build... Well, at the very least, why don't we check from inside? Uh, it's hard to tell, but I bet I... Well, I'll just try it. Alright, well, whatever. We'll go check this out from outside. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So can we just go whole hog with the moon pool? No. Why not? One leg really bugs the fuck out of me. I guess I don't get a choice. Lead? How did I lose lead? Okay, base hull strength is only 1.5, so I need to think about using some of my titanium to throw down a reinforcement, probably right... Well, actually, no, we'll do it right on the wall of the multipurpose room. But anyway, let's go check out our new moon pool. And while we're going up there... A few of these up. can't take up, maybe we should put back in edibles. I have too many nuts! Not a sentence I ever thought I would utter, but here we are. I don't know what to do with all these nuts. That's what she said. Um, I hate to throw away food, but maybe it's time for a trash can. I wonder. Okay, we need one more titanium. So we could just use some more titanium in general. Okay, the map should be off by default. That is so effing annoying. I can't even tell you. Nice. Oh, you know what, though? Hmm. Well, we'll see. Yeah.
Really cramming stuff into the space, but okay. Edibles were okay. Of course, I will eat those nuts. I'd say that I got them a little bit closer to facing forward this time than last time. And I did that by going off to the right and building the pots from the right so that the sort of 45 degree angle of those trees would be a little bit neutralized. Okay, um, so reinforcement, two titanium, I'm pretty sure, let's see. Three titanium and one lithium, oh, that's good news. I thought it was a lot more expensive. Okay, um, ba 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 ba. So I got at least one titanium out there from knocking on deposits, and now I have no effing idea what did I do with it. I am getting pretty tired of catching bladderfish. I do hope that we get a um, water purification machine soon. Oh, cool. It's easy titanium right there. Okay. You know, and I could have built a foundation too, but I just feel like this kind of nicely neutralizes the structural consequences of building the moon pool, so it makes sense to put it here. I may get in trouble later when I go to take this off, but yeah, we'll see. I just have to be, you know, not stupid and thinking about two seconds ahead when I pull that back off. Watch that come back to bite me in a later video. Okay, um, so. Uh, let us look and see the vehicle upgrade console. Three titanium, a computer chip, and copper wire. Okay, easy except for the titanium. Let's deepen what we've got here. Should, if I'm remembering correctly, allow us to make the chip. Then we'll have to make another copper wire, because that's one of the things that we need. And three more titanium. Let's 
go back like behind our base this time since we haven't looked that way in a while. To cook some of those bladder fish the next chance I get. I'm sure I've left a hundred blueprints kicking around out here. Got it. You know, while we're doing all this, well, let's sleep. Let's sleep, and then while the solar panels are generating a lot of power, we can throw the sea truck in the moon pool and have it recharge. If I set it to recharge now, it could drain out my batteries during the night. So I think... I can never remember if you get out on the right side or the left side. I want to say you get out on the right side, so if I come in from where the leg is, then I should jump out right into the hallway. Welcome aboard, Captain. Perfect. And, conveniently, we now have the materials to... Yeah. So let's see what we can make. So we've got all this prawn suit stuff. Synthetic fibers, which need spiral plant clippings, which I don't have. I probably have both the diamond and the ruby to make that, but I don't have those spiral plant clippings. Drill arm takes a lot of diamond, but I think I should be able to make it. I already have a jump jet upgrade. I don't need to get more of that. We already have the depth upgrade mark one. So. doesn't tell us what the state of charge is, does it? But we can maybe look at the... That's 79. I like the charging sound effect, by the way. Can you hear it? It's kind of a blah 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 blah. Okay, good. So, yeah. Those are going up at a nice rate. We'll just leave it there to charge. And I think the next thing on the agenda is the prawn suit which, off the top of my head, the only thing I know is a power cell, and we did pick up a power cell in Kappa. Um, the rest of it, I am not so sure. Probably an ingot, right? Power cell, plasteel, enameled glass, and another chip. Two more copper. One more gold, two more table coral. Five more titanium. Is it just one diamond for an enameled glass? We'll check in a second. I've got pre-made glass. It must be two diamonds, because it didn't offer me the option. Yeah. Oh, lead. Oh, okay. Where did I put... There it is. And since we're going to be putting this in anyway, we'll carry that. Um, so, we just need... We need... Two lithium and five titanium. Alright, back out on the titanium grind. This time let's go this way. At least it's daytime, it's easier to see. I 
forgot to make the bladder fish into water. Honestly, I don't mind the copper. We are getting a little low. But what I really need to do is find something to scan that'll give me two titanium at once. Nom. Pick it up! Jeez. Three out of five. Four out of five. The lead is good. We're running out of lead. We're going to need more. Copper's good. We're getting a little low on copper. Warning. 30 seconds of... Oh, hang on. Time to use my favorite toy. Oxygen remaining. Boom. It's a nice day out. Check that. Interesting. There's this big icy thing right here in front of Mount Rainier. Okay. Notes to self. It's so rare you get to see anything above water because the weather's always so god-awful. Space? Ah, I don't have enough. Maybe. I'm pretty sure that you have to have six spaces in your inventory to pick up the vehicle bay, but let's check it out. That's what I thought. Didn't leave anything in here, did I? I didn't think so. Uh, we will simply make an ingot. And hell, let's take two lithium out of our inventory and make the plasteel. And while we're here, why not? Got about 17 of these bladder fish. Just make them into water. My god. We've got a whole half an hour episode in the can already? Oh, Christ. Okay, so probably this is going to be a two-episode day. Because I'm going to make the prawn suit, so you guys can see that get made at the end of this episode. But we haven't done any exploration at all. So this is going to be a two-episode day. Let's go make the prawn suit. We'll end the episode with the prawn suit getting made and maybe putting the jump jet upgrade in it. And um, then we'll go and continue recording another half hour. Oops. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. No! No! Wrong song. This is House of Pain, come on, get with the program. Can't be a boomer. Can't be a stupid boomer if you don't know that reference. This looks pretty good right here. Yep, I like it. Good to be back in a giant stompy robot, or even a small stompy robot for that matter.
Okay. This is good, my friends. We have made a lot of progress, even if it did mean some grinding. So... Let's check on one more thing. And that is, let's see if we can do depth upgrade number one for this guy. I'm pretty sure I remember we can't. E-pin. Pretty sure I remember that we need synthetic fibers, and I don't know where to get the spiral plant clippings, but... Yep. Yeah, we're blocked on spiral plant clippings. Well, you know what? Let's make the drill arm. Because we've got all the ingredients. Uh, well, we'll go grind for a little bit more titanium. And then we'll make the drill arm at least. Alright. Two things I want to check on. One is... No, it doesn't look like I can turn off the lights. Okay, so it'll be... Hopefully that isn't really draining any battery. Well, we'll find out after we get back from going to sleep. Other thing to make sure of before I hit the sack is... Yeah, fully charged. Okay, so now we can sleep the night away, but not before I eat a nut. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. And let's stash a bunch of this water. Okay, three on me should be fine. Let's stash some of our other stuff too. Pull out four diamonds while we're here. So we could put the drill arm in here, but I actually want to put it on. So let's go ahead and throw it on the upgrades, and I guess I like it better on the left arm. There we go. So if we want to go back into Kappa, we can mine out all those huge chunks of everything that's out there and mine out the veins, and all sorts of other stuff. So, good deal. Um, alright, uh, yeah, let us go and sleep. And I will use the black in between this sleep and the next bit of the next day as the break between this episode and next I hope you're staying salty, my friends. Sorry this was more of a build-in grind episode than it was an exploration episode, but stay tuned. Next episode is Exploration. <laughs>